this is a push pull power supply why we need the push pull power supply in early videos of forward converter right when the switch on the primary of the transformer is on the energy is transferred from this point to this point and during the time there is a magnetic current is increasing inside the core and also a magnetic flux before the magnetic flux reaching to the maximum value we have to reset the flux so in order that we will we have to off this transistor when we off this transistor we have to provide a path to reset the flux inside the core so we have giving a snubber circuit so at every time when we are switching off the stored energy dissipating in the resistor so this is not efficient in order to avoid we are using push pull topology now how we can understand the working of the push pull power supply that means when this is the on time of the transistor 1 if this is the transistor 1 this is on when this transistor is on this side is plus and this side is ground so the voltage at this point will be plus here and minus here so all the dot end will be plus so this will be plus this will be plus this will be plus and this will be plus this is this is not on if this is plus and th this will be minus when a minus will be at this point this will be reversed by x so the only diode that is forward bias is this diode this bias is forward bias and current is flowing through this inductor a portion of the current flows to the capacitor and a part of the current is flowing to the load and the voltage at this point will be if this has n number of the turns ratio is if this has 10 turns and this has only 5 turns then the turns ratio will be 1 by 2 so the voltage will be if this is 10 volt 1 by 2 of the voltage that means 1 by 2 of 10 voltage is 5 voltage will be available at this point the voltage at this point is given by n into i this is the current through the inductor when this diode is forward bias the current is increasing through the inductor so during the time the inductor is getting charged now when it is switched off the inductor began to free wheel and the inductor current began to decrease during the time neither of this neither of the transistor is on during the average of the inductor current is called the output current this portion is the capacitor current if we take the average that will be zero this portion the charging portion is equal to the discharging portion when the inductor current is more than the required output current then the inductor charges this capacitor and during the off time also the inductor current is more so during that time also the inductor is charging when the inductor current falls below the required now the capacitor began to discharge again when it is on during the time also the inductor current is less than the required output current so at that time also the capacitor is discharging so this is during the off time and the during the on time the capacitor is discharging like that during the on time and the during the off time the capacitor is charging so the average if you take the average the capacitor current will be zero that is arms second rule when this switch is off this become this point become zero and this point become plus so the inductor current is free wheeling through this and at this point the inductor current has two paths one is this path and the other is this path if we look at the polarity of these inductors they are winded in opposite direction that means this end is non dotted and this end is dotted so if current flow e flows equally through this inductors that will be cancelled as as we set the right hand thumb rule when inductor current flows through a the conductor in opposite direction both the flux will be get cancelled
when both flux will be cancelled there there will be no more change of flux so then the, when there is no no change of flux there will be there will not be any voltage so the flux in the core remains whatever it is now this portion when the transistor is on as we said the inductor current is increasing the inductor also taking energy from the, this current when this switch is on there is a current is flowing through it and that is called magnetization current and due to the magnetization current a flux is also created generated inside the core of the magnetic field this flux uh, we, which we have resetted uh, in the forward converter now we don't want to reset this flux when this switch is off the inductor is freewheeling when the inductor is freewheeling the uh, the current will flow through this and from this point the current will flow to this part and this part that are equal and they are both will be cancelled and when both the current will be cancelled there will be no flux there will be no flux means the flux produced by this coil will not be cancelled as this flux is already cancelled this flux remains the same so this flux remains the same during the off stage now when this transistor is on this flux is increasing but in the opposite direction this is also not decreasing this is increasing in the opposite direction so this is why because if you look at that this is this end of the coil is on the non dotant so the flux is in the reverse direction so the flux is increasing in the reverse direction all the non dotant now become positive this dotant become positive this will be become positive this will become positive and this will become positive this will become positive means this is negative when this is negative this will be reverse biased this will be reverse biased means this diode is not conducting now this is positive so this diode is conducting so when this transistor is on the this d1 is conducting and when this transistor is on d2 is if this is in the this is the maximum flux that can handle by the core in the in this direction and this is the flux in the opposite direction this means this is not negative this is only only says that if this is in the reverse direction so we can avoid the reset, resetting of flux and thereby the dissipation of energy by using push pull topology in power supply what is this to shows this shows the voltage that can handle by the transistors during the on time there will be no voltage if you assume that this is ideal if during the on time there is no voltage the voltage across this in, in, the, the transistor will be zero this both the transistor is off during the time we said that when both the transistor is on the inductor is freewheeling through this path when inductor is freewheeling through, through this path the voltage these fl the flux are in the opposite direction both the flux will be cancelled when both the, the flux will be cancelled then there is no more change of flux n into d5 by dt that is there, there is no more change of flux so there, there will be no voltage across any of the inductors any of the coils during the time this is the voltage of the battery if we say that this is a battery the voltage source is directly connected to this point this is this will act as a wire so the voltage it has to withstand is v v in when this transistor is off and this transistor is on during the time the voltage across this will be this is grounded so this this voltage will be at zero so zero plus v in plus v in minus so the voltage across is 2 v in when both the switches are off the voltage is v in t1 is on the voltage is 
zero. Both the switches on. The voltages begin. When once this switch is on, the voltage is to be in. This, the voltage at this point is when this transistor is on, voltage V in will N into V in will be available at this point. And when this transistor is on, then also N into V in voltage will be available at this point. So the if consider the output voltage, it is two times I n into v into d this is the voltage